Hi, in this video, let's take a look at the time notation of system C. Let's first understand the two different time measurements. One is called wall clock time. This is the time from the start of execution to the completion, includes the time waiting for other system activities and applications. Another concept is called simulated time. This is a time being modeled by the simulation, which may be less than or greater than the simulation's wall clock time. In system C, there's a special data type called SC underscore time. It is used by the simulation kernel to track the simulation time. And several, it defines several time units, including SC second, millisecond, microsecond, nanosecond, picosecond, and femtoseconds. It is possible to perform arithmetic operations for an SC time object, but there are certain restrictions. Multiplication allows only one of its operands to be a double. The other one can be an SC time object. Second, for division, only the divisor can be a double value. A special notation of time is SC zero time. It is a marker representing a time value of zero. Even though it, it has no real length of simulation time, it is very useful. For example, if there are two simulation processes, process A and process B, process A happens at time t, while process B happens at time t plus SC0 time, then it is guaranteed that process A happens always before process B. In comparison, if SC0 time is not used, both simulation process A and process B happens at time t. Then the execution order of the two processes is random. Now let's take a look at a simple example of system C time notation. We first set the default time unit at one second. Then we convert different simulation units to the default time unit. For example, one second is still one second. One millisecond is 0 0.001 second, and so on and so forth. In this example, we also let the system C simulation to run for this much time, 7,261 seconds, which is two hours, one minute, and one second. And here, instead of waiting for this much time, the simulation kernel will finish immediately because it knows there's no activity within this period of time. It simply increases its internal time counter and returns. Okay, hope this video is useful to you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.